Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Code 4. In this video, we are going to be solving Section B of Feb March 2019, Paper Code 2.2. February March 2022 exam series is on the way, and I request all of you to have a look at all the videos posted in this channel, which will help you score a star in your exams. The channel contains FAQ videos, paper solving videos, doubt videos, and chapter explanation videos. Click the card on your screen right now so that you can see the playlist section of our channel and go through amazing videos. Hope you do it. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed Code 4, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. We are nearing 1k subscribers, so it would be nice to get it as soon as possible with your help. Now let's get started with the first question of section B. So the first question is, an algorithm has been written in pseudocode to input 50 numbers and total only the positive numbers. The code is, count is equal to 1, total is equal to count, repeat, input number, if number not equal to 0, then total is equal to total plus count, then the count is equal to count plus 1, until count less than 50, print, Total. Find the four errors in the pseudocode and suggest a correction for each error. I hope most of you would have found all the four errors while I am reading the code. Now let's see what are the four errors. Before moving on to the errors, if you are not sure how to write a pseudocode, don't worry. We have pseudocode basics playlist specially made for you. Click the card on your screen right now to view all the videos. Now let's see what are all the errors. The first error is in line number 2, that is, total is equal to count. Here, they are assigned the variable count to the variable total, which is wrong. It should be total is equal to 0. The sum at first should be 0, so that you can calculate all this positive number sum at last. The next error is in line number 5, that is, if number not equal to 0. This will evaluate only if number not equal to 0. So it tells true for negative numbers and also true for positive numbers. So it should be if number greater than 0 so that only positive numbers are taken into account for the total. Now let's see what is the error number 3. So the third error is in line number 7. That is total is equal to total plus count. Here, they are making the variable count get total with the variable total, but it should be total is equal to total plus number. Each time the user enters a positive number, the number should be added with the total and then the value should be assigned to the variable total. This repeats until 50 times. So it should be total is equal to total plus number. The last error is in line number 10. Here it is mentioned until count less than 50, but it is wrong. At first, they are assigned the value 1 to the variable count. So at last, it should be until count greater than 50. So there are 50 set of repetition. But here, as per this code, if it is until count less than 50, there will only be 49 repetitions. The next subdivision is, show how you could change the character algorithm to only total numbers greater than 0 and less than 20. You can add a line which has a decision statement like if number greater than 0 and number less than 20. Here number is the variable. So if number greater than 0 and means both the conditions should satisfy. So here if number greater than 0 and number less than 20 then you could follow these set of code for the sum of all the numbers in between 0 and 20. I hope you understand. Now let's move on to the next question. So the next question is, this flowchart inputs the type of passengers for a survey. Yes for senior, A for adult, C for child. All other values are ignored apart from Z which ends the process. So the flowchart is start Senior is equal to 0, adult is equal to 0, child is equal to 0. Input type. His type, yes. 
If it is yes, senior is equal to senior plus 1. If it is no, is type A. If it is yes, adult is equal to adult plus 1. If it is no, is type C. If it is yes, child is equal to child plus 1. If this is also no, is type is equal to Z. If it is yes, output seniors, comma senior, output adults, comma adult, output children, comma child. If this is no, it will come over here and again all these set of conditions are evaluated again. Then at last the end. So complete the trace table for the passenger input data. Yes, 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 A, C, 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 A, 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 W, yes, yes, D, C, Z, D, yes. So this is a five mark question and a easy one. I'll guide you. So first things first, take a look at the flowchart again. There is a promise box that indicates senior is equal to zero, adult is equal to zero, child is equal to zero. So first, in this trace table, you have to write senior as zero, adult as zero, child as zero. Then you have to complete the trace table. So for type, you have to first write what is the type. So here, first it is yes. So you write yes. Then, according to the flowchart, if the type is yes, Senior is equal to senior plus 1. So now the type is yes. So senior is equal to senior plus 1. At first, senior value is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. The next type is yes. So senior is equal to senior plus 1. The senior value is now 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. The next type is senior. That is yes. So senior is equal to senior plus 1. Now this value for senior is 2, so 2 plus 1 is 3. The next type is A, that is adult is equal to adult plus 1. So here at first adult is 0, so adult plus 1 is 0 plus 1 which is 1. The next one is C, that is child. So the type is C, it is child is equal to child plus 1. So first child is 0, so 0 plus 1 is 1. And again there are two times the same type that is C. So for C, you get 1 plus 1, which is 2, and again you have a C, so 2 plus 1, which is 3. The next type is A. So here, adult is equal to adult plus 1. So the value for adult is now 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. The next type is A, so it is 2 plus 1, which is 3, and the next type is A, which is 2, 3 plus 1, which is 4, and the next type is A, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5. The next type is W. So here, this day, other all other values are ignored. So W is a value which can be ignored. So you have to ignore W. The next one is yes. So senior is equal to senior plus 1. Senior already has a value 3. So 3 plus 1 is 4. The next type is yes. So yes plus 1, that is 4 plus 1, which is 5. The next type is D. This value can also be ignored. The next value is C, that is child is equal to child plus 1. So 3 plus 1 is 4. The next value is Z. So here it says if type is equal to Z, output seniors comma senior, adults comma adult, children comma child, and the end of process. So in output column, you just write seniors 5, adults 5, children. Four. This is how you get the 5 mark for this question. I hope you understand. If you have any doubt with this question, make sure to comment below. So the next question is, for each of the four groups of statement in the table, place a tick in the correct column to show whether it is an example of selection or repetition. Before moving on to this question, you must know what is selection and repetition. So make note of this point. Algorithms can use selection to determine a different set of steps to execute based on a Boolean expression. Iteration or repetition, both are same. Algorithms often use repetition to execute steps a certain number of times or until a certain condition is met. So now let's solve this question. So the statement is for x 1 to 10 sum is equal to sum plus 1 next x. So this Execute a certain number of times. So this is repetition. 
while x greater than 10 do sum is equal to sum plus 1 x is equal to x minus 1 and y this also execute a certain number of times so it is a repetition the next statement is if x greater than 10 then sum is equal to sum plus 1 x is equal to x minus 1 end of this is a selection statement the last statement is repeat sum is equal to sum plus 1 x is equal to x minus 1 until x greater than 10 so this also repeats a set number of times so this is a repetition statement this is a easy for mark question and i hope you understand how i did this now let's move on to the fifth question in this paper or the fourth question in section b so the next question is a programmer restricts input values to less than 90 and greater than 60 state whether this is called validation or verification name the check that needs to be used so before that you need to know what is validation and what is verification i have explained this in all paper two solving videos and this question what is the difference between validation and verification it's a frequently asked question so make sure you know what is it so validation is the process of checking whether the specification captures the customer's requirements while verification is the process of checking that the software meets specifications so here that is the value less than 90 and greater than 60 is a validation and the check that needs to be used is range check that is it is in the range 60 to 90 so state three different types of test data that the programmer would need to use give an example of each type and the reason that the programmer chooses the test data so type 1 is normal data type 2 is erroneous data type 3 is extreme data so normal data is something which meets the condition and the program accepts the value so here it is in the range 60 to 80 sorry 60 to 90 so normal data could be any value in between 60 to 90 so suppose take the value 63 so the reason is to show that the program accepts the value and for type 2 the value or the example is 72 if the value is written in numbers it is a correct value but here it is written in words so this is a reason to show that the program rejects this value the type 3 it is extreme data an example is 89 this is a boundary data it, the reason is to show that the program accepts this value now let's move on to the last question of this paper that is the database question a database table bike tires is used to keep a record of tires for sale in a cycle shop tires are categorized by width and diameter in millimeters whether they have an inner tube and the type of terrain for which they are designed the query by example grid below displays the tire code and the stock level of all 28 millimeter width tires suitable for mixed terrain after the query alter the query to show the tire code and stock level in ascending order of stock level for all 24 millimeter asphalt terrain tires write the new query in the following query by example grid if you don't know how to solve a query by example grid make sure to click the card on your screen right now we have a special video made for this so here the field name is are written here tire code width diameter tube terrain stock level all, are all field names so here the required field names are tire code stock levels width and terrain so the table is bike tires they will always mention the table name in the question so make sure you note it notice it so in short you have to make it stock level as ascending as they have asked in the question and in show column you have to tick tire code and stock levels and for criteria the width should be 24 millimeter so here they are given all the values in this numbers and not in mm -hmm. so you can just write this equal to 24 and for terrain you have to write is equal to asphalt so asphalt is written in quotation mark since it is a string i hope you understand this question that is the end of the paper